So uh, Stacy actually <clears throat> influenced me in getting these gloves here. I um, freaking love them, but there are some things that could that could have uh, some improvements, um, such as I got mine custom uh, made uh, different lengths of my fingers, so I got kind of short fingers, and fortunately. I did not get the Polish thumb, which is the Polish people have like really long thumbs. It's not a racist comment, but it's fact. Um, and uh, they size it appropriately for me, which thank goodness. Um, so when I put these on, they were kind of short on my fingers. So whenever I grip or make a fist, uh, grab onto my sword, it would feel like there's pressure over here on the inside of the glove, right in here. Um, so I had to make it a little bit longer. Um, way you do that is you can actually remove these these things right here. Uh, this one. You have to put pressure on the back because I think these are uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're the riveted in place or screw riveted. So you can always unscrew them right there. And, and now you can custom size them the way you want it to. So you just push them out, pull them out. There you go. Right here. You can see the inside. It's like, ooh, that's pretty cool. Um, to custom size it, um, you're just going to have to adjust where this, um, I don't even know what it's called. We'll call it an anchor. Um, uh, up or down. However you need it for, for shorten. you got to put this thing a little bit higher. Um, if you want it longer, it has to go a little bit down this way. Fortunately, it's got this uh, webbing here, and that stuff is really strong, which is a plus. Um, so, to um, do that adjustment, you'll need a needle. Um, of course, after you push this thing out, I'm not going to do it because I already have it where I want it. Um, you'll have to uh, poke through the webbing, and make sure you don't cut, burn anything out. Um, use what you got. Put in the needle, kind of tease it open a bit, preferably in the center where it's supposed to be, um, in line here. And make, create an opening oh. to where it's open um, enough to put, to readjust um, this anchor up or down. Then I use scissors uh, to make that opening a little bigger, without cutting of course. And open it up to make that hole and then hemostats as well once that opening is a little bigger enough so it's um, big enough just to put the anchor through like so so if you uh, move one of these up that way you need to go equidistance that way as well because of the alignments of the holes um, so you can put it in place. And you can do that for all the fingers that you want to. Um, and then go ahead and screw it back in place. Uh, as such. I'm just only to do hand tighten these things. Um, there are some problems that I've noticed. Um, I did some very, very light sparring. Um, there are some uh, instances where you can actually get uh, strikes like in here in between the fingers. Um, that's kind of a problem. I know the Pro Gauntlet's... Uh, address that by putting some kind of uh, veil or uh, leather in that area so while well, it's gripped right here there's some kind of protection um, for your, the inside of your fingers and then also over here um, Stacy also mentioned um, that there are gaps opening here um, that could potentially cause problems as well uh, what you can do is which I did and tried with this one is I got some metal or I got some leather um, just any old leather works, poke holes in it, um, and then kind of fill in the gaps. So when you, I made it so that when you put it on, put it on out, that when you make a fist, um, there is enough, it, it, there's enough fabric to protect that area, especially for head on strikes like that, um, as mentioned before. Um, for the thumb section um, over here, I was thinking later on I will put some type of, um, uh, put leather here um, attached to three different points. So be one right here, uh, right here, maybe up there, and then right over here on the one of the knuckles. So it's gonna come right over here, kind of look like 
something like that. At least it's somewhat protected, and it's black, or you can use different type of colored leather if you wish, whatever floats your boat. Um, and then there's that. Uh, I also saw there's like not so much protection right here in this section. Um, I bet it would be like a one in 1,000 times uh, chance of actual um, a blade going in there, but yeah, kind of needed for for articulation purposes. So what I was going to do is also do the same thing, kind of put some leather there um, from here to there in that section in like a triangle area. And then you can even make it from here, 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 and here, and then all that leather is just covering that area. Give it a little bit of protection. Though it looks super ugly, um, function over um, aesthetics, I guess, if you will. Um, there's other things that you can do for uh, what Stacy mentioned as well as to sand, in, sand, sand it down some things. Um, I haven't noticed that I need to because I got smallish hands. Uh, not much anything is um, touching on me. I didn't have to sand down anything. Um, some would argue to uh, shave this area of the palm because of the way the sword sits right here and let's see yeah right here so I think it's like a safety feature so you're gripping it really hard and then you get struck on the back side of the hand here um, it acts as a, a uh, kind of like a hard protector um, kind of deal instead of it mashing down on your hand itself you have it just smashes down on the hard um, I don't even know what this is kydex it looks kydex to me hard plastic but um that's a good uh, protection um, for that. Um, I w really wanted to get the Pro Gauntlets, but uh, it's like really expensive and they're not even out yet. It's hard to get them. Uh, some people can, I, and they only come in like one size. Uh, I think it's like large, extra large, and I wear size medium gloves. So these were the next bet, and also the uh, YouTube ads sold me, especially Stacy with his uh, reviews as well. Um, super awesome. Um, I can't wait for the lockdowns to stop so I can get back to long sorting. And um, that's it. Thank you.